Nothing yeah. special. Yeah. Pure delicious. Pure delicious. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family loves me. And that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Hey, shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pam, man. I'd like to thank y'all for all the support y'all been showing me over the past year. Especially all the support y'all been showing me for this food, this cooking videos. I'm going to try to keep them coming for y'all. I got a lot of different recipes, a lot of different little hacks and little things that we do. Today, I'm going to show you a quick way to make a good breakfast wrap. Probably never seen it before. You know what I'm saying? This ain't your mama breakfast wrap right here. This is a whole different way to do this. So maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't, but it's gonna be something new for you today. It's quick, it's simple. You can make it for breakfast or you can make it for lunch or dinner, whatever you choose. But today, I'm gonna to use breakfast material, breakfast food for y'all to try. And I want y'all to try this at home. And as always, hit me in the comments. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you tried it. Send pictures if you can. Some of y'all send me pictures of that uh that sandwich with the noodles no bread y'all did a good job y'all did a good job and i know it was delicious all y'all said it was great it tasted good so i appreciate that i appreciate the love keep on sharing that share this video share it with everybody let everybody try this new stuff and see it ain't nothing wrong with trying something new try something new every now and then you know put something new in your life so anyway we're gonna try today. We're gonna do this ain't your mama breakfast wrap right here. So we're gonna get with it. Y'all come over here and follow me. Let me show y'all what we got. This is quick and simple. Alright, now we got eggs right here and your bacon. I went ahead on and cooked that for you already, so you will have that ready just to save time. It's just a quick, short recipe. Come over here. We got some ham, some turkey. We got uh the provolone cheese and the yellow cheese. We got the triple cheese. You know we got the onions and green peppers. We got to keep that. And then we got my seasoning. We got my Old Bay, my garlic, my Mrs. Dash, garlic salt, onion powder, and DC, baby. DC, mambo sauce. We got the mambo sauce. Now we got the wraps right here. We got the extra big wraps so you can, you know, get what you want to get out of it you can use the smaller ones or you can use some weak ones depending on what you want to do but this is going to be short quick simple but it's oh 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 so pure delicious pure delicious so i'm gonna put these gloves on here man just because you want to be clean Cleanliness is next to godliness. That's what they say. I believe. Especially when we're going around with this corona and all this other stuff. Alright, come on. So let's get over here. Let's see what we're gonna do. Alright, get down here on this food. We're gonna start off. We're gonna get these wraps out. This is the first process. Put that wrap right there. Alright, we get that in there. You understand? Now this is the trick. This the thing that right here that most people is not gonna be used to. This what you do. Pay attention to this. This is what you gotta do right here. This is the trick to the whole thing. I don't know if you ever seen this before, but if you haven't, you gonna learn something today. Let's go. All right, now, you get to the middle of the wrap and you just take that knife and you just make a slight cut like that. Simple as that, you see that? That's all you gotta do. Bam, all right, now we got that. We're going to go from here, we're going to take this egg, and we're going to put it right there, right? We're going to take this bacon, and we're going to put it right across from this egg, right? Stay with me now. Alright, we're going to take this provolone, we're going to open it up. Split it in half, put one here, and put one here. We're going to take this 
good old yellow cheese, what y'all call it when you was government cheese or whatever. You can't even find the opening to this stuff. Ah, there she go. There she go. We gonna split that in half. We gonna lace it with that. We gonna lace it with that. Okay. Get on over there. Alright, see what we got going on? We're gonna take this ham. We're gonna come up in here. See that? Turkey. I'm gonna lace that turkey up in here. See that? So we got four different spots working right here, right? Follow me now. Alright, we're gonna come over, we're gonna take a look. I use a little beef seasoning because to me, Beef is the best seasoning when you're dealing with, uh, especially when you're dealing with them noodles. You all know I deal with them noodles, and that's some of the best seasoning you're going to get right there. It's going to come off of that. We'll get a little garlic salt. We're going to spread that up in there. Right. Put a little onion powder. Put light showers on it. Always garlic. Always garlic. The low bay. Just let it rain on it a little bit. You understand? This is dash. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to break these. Y'all know I got onions and green peppers. Yellow peppers, red peppers. For all occasions. Get a little sprinkle. Get a little sprinkle. Depends on what you like. Depends on what you like. Okay. You get that in there. You break out this here triple triple cheddar. Right? Or whatever you like. Whatever type you like, whatever flavor you like, because this thing will come out. If you do it right, it's gonna come out dripping that cheese, but that's what you want. Tripping that cheese. Look at that. Get up in there. Let, uh, don't that look delicious? Oh, Lord. Already it's looking delicious. Now we go with the secret weapon. You know what I'm saying? DMV, stand up. Stand up, DMV. Represent. All right. This is optional, but I recommend it. Sprinkle a little bit of that good stuff over there. Ooh, no, look at that. Look what we're looking at. Check it out now. Get up in there. Mm, mm, mm. See that there? Now watch the magic happen. Watch this. Come on up on this close. Watch this. This is what you do now. Take that little split you made and you fold it over. Wow. Then you fold it over. Wow. Then you fold it over. Wow. And look at what you got. Oh, Lord. You see that? Mmm. Tell me you ever seen that before. Ooh, Lord. Put it down there. You take this. This was a commodity in there, but we found it. You take this right here, and you wrap it. Seal up all that good flavor up in there. Look at that. See that? Boom. Now, we take this right here, we go to the microwave. We put it in there, we're going to go one minute. We're going to go one minute on one side, one minute on the other side. And if it's done right and it's, you know, the way it's supposed to be, it should be dripping that cheese coming out when it's finished. Letting you know all that deliciousness, that pure deliciousness on the inside done marinated, it done got good, it done got all flavory up. So when you bring this thing out and you slice it in half, you're going to see pure deliciousness. When you bite into it, <laughs> pure heaven. Pure heaven. And you can't debate me because you ain't been to heaven. Have you been to heaven? All right then. So that's what we're going to have when we get this uh, ancient mama wrap here. Ancient mama breakfast wrap right here. So yeah, this is one of the meals we used to make in there. It was a quick meal, it was a good meal, and you can make it like I say, you can save it, 
You could eat it later on. You could take that right there. You could also cook it in this the tater chip bag like I do with the other meals and it's toasted. But for this demonstration, what I'm doing for y'all is cooking it in the plastic. So it'll hold all them flavors and heat in there. You got one minute on one side, and I turn it on the other side. And give it one more minute. So we're talking about two minutes total to cook this. And as you saw, didn't take long to make it. So it's a, it's a short meal, it's simple. It's a recipe, man, this, this, this easy. It's something you probably never thought of because like I said, I probably wouldn't have never thought of it had I not been in the situations that I was in and seen the things that I seen. And when you in there, people be creative. They be, you know, coming up with different ideas of how to make stuff. Then you take what you see and you put your own twist on it. You know, I put my own bankology on it. I make it the way I want to make it. All I got to do is see it and then I can take it and twist it up and, and Make it like I like it. So this is one of the things I used to make. This is one of the joints I used to like to eat. I used to make it for me and my homeboys. It was delicious. Like I said, you can cook it. When you cook it in this plastic as well as the temperature bag, it holds heat for a long time. So as soon as you open it, it's going to be hot. So I'm going to open it when I get it out just to show y'all. But normally you can let it sit like that for a while. It'll marinate it to get even better. The flavors will get even more intense. I would recommend you to let it sit for like maybe five to eight minutes after you open it, just so it can marinate and season and, and, and get more solidified. But, as I told you, when it comes out, should be dripping that cheese. You see that cheese dripping right there? Now, this is what I need you to do. Smell it, smell it, smell it. Who gonna invent that smell can? Who is gonna be the billionaire to invent that smell can. Mm, mm, mm. I hope it be me. All right, now you see how this is? It's nice and hot. If you touch this, it's really, really hot. So like I say, you're supposed to just let it set for a while, maybe 10 minutes. But being that we ain't working on that type of time, we are gonna try to get this thing open and let it cool off a little bit before we start demonstrating with this good old test. Taste test, eat it test, ah, let it get in your belly test. So hold what you got. Let me see here. We gonna get this thing open. All right. Mmm. All this flavor come gushing up out of here. Look at this stuff here. Mmm. Look at there. Can you see that smoke coming up from there? Look at look at here. See how we learned something new today? Mmm, stay up on that food there. Look how good that looks. Woo! Ain't y'all wanting to taste that already? I know that's right. I know that's right. So, what we do here, take and cut it in half, just for the benefit of y'all seeing what this inside looks like. Y'all know this stuff real. This is live, not Memorex. Mm. He can pick that stuff up. Look at that there. Oh, Lord. Look at the drip. Mm, mm, mm. Right in my hands. It's so hot. Good deliciousness. Pure. Mm. See that? Now, stay up on it. Look at that stuff. Now, if you was making this, maybe for lunch or something for your, you know, your kid, your nephew, you know, even for yourself, that's what you got right here. This is what you're working with. Look at all these flavors up in here. Look at that. Get up in there. Look at that stuff, man. Come on, man. Where you get that from? Huh? Look at that. Nice little bite sizes, but it's packed with flavor, so it's going to get you full. You understand? It's nice and hot. Okay, now, y'all already know. I ain't even got to tell you. Meal ain't a meal without chips. I don't care what they tell you. I don't care what they tell you. I don't care what it is. You got to have something. Now, let's go over here. You got to dress it up because you got to make it look good because it tastes good. See what I'm saying? 
Look at that meal right there. Look at that. If you tell me that ain't a meal, come on now. Talk to me quick. Come on. You know that look good. You know that look like something that you want on your plate in the restaurant. Just tell me the price. How much you pay for? How much you would go in the restaurant and spend on this right here? I couldn't tell you. I went out to eat uh, this week. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you the price. Y'all might laugh at me. Y'all might laugh. I can't even tell you. So I already know. This stuff right here, woo! It's cheap, simple, easy, you know, inexpensive. Something you could do at home, bond with your people, you know. And all of that. So it's an experience, something you can learn. Get that bankology in your life. Get that bankology in your life. See that there? Bankology 101. Eat good food, live, laugh, and love. That's what we get ready to do. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna test this food. You know we're gonna test this food. Here. Yeah, we're gonna get up in here. Look at this. Get up on this stuff here. You tell me that meal don't look delicious. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna say a little grace. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna put a little water on my hands first. Even though they clean, we're gonna put a little bit on. You know, we got all types of all types of stuff going on out here this day and time, so we gotta be safe. We gotta be smart, we gotta be careful. But um we also gotta live. So, you know, just take your time and, you know, be a little cautious every now and then. That's all it takes. Don't change your life, don't get crazy, don't get radical, but just be a little cautious. That's all. Cause we all wanna be here as long as we can. But now let's get back to this good food. Oh now, here comes the real part. Mmm. Which one? Which one should I go first? Left or right? Woo! Look at this. Get up. Look at it. Mmm. 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 Tell me y'all don't want to taste that. I know I do. We going in. We going in. It's hot now. We going in. My tongue get burned. Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh. Mmm. Mm. I ain't lying to you. The first thing that came to my mind was that mystical song. Been so long. Oh, been so long since I made it. And it's still delicious. Y'all know I cried to you for a lot too. You need to try this at home. You let me know. I'm going to take one more bite. I ain't trying to be crazy. I know y'all watch me, but I got to bite on them because the flavor is in my mouth. Wow, man. Mm -hmm. Put a little chip with it. Woo! Y'all know what it is. You know what it is. Mmm! That's that good food. What? Mmm! Y'all need to try this at home. Put this in your life. It's ain't your mama breakfast wrap, but it is delicious, pure delicious. Bankology 101, try this. I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all. Keep on rocking with me. We're going to learn some new things. We're going to do some new things. We're going to have some fun in 2021. We're going to cook up some stuff up in 2021. You understand me? So keep on rocking with me. And keep on rolling. We're going to keep on making this good food. We're going to keep on spreading this positivity. We're going to keep spreading this good energy. And we hope it just go viral everywhere in the world where people will be more nice than they are mean. That's our whole goal. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be, be, be you know, kind and loving over here. Helpful. You know what I'm saying? Pull a brother up. Don't pull him down. That's what we're trying to do over here with Team Bank and Pound. So, I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all liking my food. I appreciate y'all liking my videos. I appreciate y'all rocking with me on IG. I just appreciate all the love y'all giving me, man. I'm giving it right back to you, man. I hope y'all can get it. You know, I'm giving it right back to y'all, man. So keep rocking with me, man. We're going to keep on going. 
try this recipe out hit me in the comments let me know if you like it let me know how it came out if you want to send me pictures of it i want to see it i do want to see it see if it came out as good as mine maybe had somebody out there might have to make me step my game up you know so that's what i'm looking for so i appreciate y'all out there and as always be safe be smart make good decisions I'll see you next time with another recipe. Peace. The baking special. Yeah. Pure delicious. Pure deliciousness, man. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because... I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.